from time to time. The youth services of Noral Islam Trust aim to equip the younger generation with confidence and determination to succeed in all aspects of life. I really feel that it's helping the community to come together and, and train here for the karate. Um, I feel it gives them a lot of self-confidence and self-belief in themselves to actually go outside and defend themselves effectively if anything comes up. We have sports for both the boys and the girls. Um, the girls do a range of sports I believe like uh, netball and a few in indoor sports and in the same facility uh, the boys ha have football. We have our youth club and the youth club again is for both um, boys, boys and girls and the youth, the youth club is targeted for children aged again 6, six to 15 and um, d during the youth club which, which takes place here in this, uh, in this facility um, children will come and they'll play, we've got pool available, we've got table tennis, uh, kids will play outside uh, and there'll be other things depending on the boys and girls which whatever they're interested in we try to make available um, for them. Many women have been helped to integrate into the wider community due to the facilities at the Trust. The activities in Nur Islam has especially helped the women uh, to get out of home and rather, you know, before they were sort of uh, closed in and now they had the opportunity to come out and get involved in different activities. And uh, I think the most encouraging one for them was learning about uh, Deen especially the Qur'an classes that we have, which have been running for over 15 years. And mashallah, you know, uh, the, uh, the sisters look forward to coming every Wednesday to attend those. There are girls coming for different physical activities. There are women coming, learning uh, different Islamic sciences. As a teacher, I come, I have two days here. I come uh, 9.30 in the morning and my lesson is up to 3 o'clock. And I enjoyed every bit of it. And um, I, that's, I think is the best of thing I can't get anywhere else. My local uh, masjid um, doesn't provide uh, facilities for ladies. And although I've been living in the borough for a number of years, so I adopted Nur al-Islam as my masjid and I'm very happy here. And I've become part of it and Nur al-Islam has become part of my life as well. <laughs> These services provide the Muslim community with all the necessary facilities under one convenient roof. I was approached by the trust here, by the trust, the trust chief, uh, um, uh, one of the trust uh, directors, and they asked me if we can provide the service. But that's some years ago now, a good seven, eight years ago. And obviously we, we got in touch with the local hospital as well. Uh, we, we studied the area, we, got our, we got, obviously got our own sterilizer, we have the operating room there. I called the urology department from Mr. Cross Hospital to come and visit us. During our procedures, we only started and they come and saw the procedure and they were quite happy. It was the hard work of a few brothers and sisters from the local community who initially got the wheels of the project turning. Uh, Nord Islam started in 1989 when a group of brothers and sisters realized that there was a need for um, a community centre for somewhere for Muslims in the area to get together. At that time there weren't as many Muslims as there are now but the small um, group of Muslim population in Leighton realised realized that there was a need um, for a, a base for the Muslims to get together and that's really how Nur Islam came about. From this point on there was no looking back for the Trust and expansion was rapid. The Trust is situated in the heart of the Muslim community in Leighton Activities at the Trust were quick to flourish with new activities starting up each week. These activities quickly became popular and as a result more and more people from all ages were drawn to the Trust. With this increase of activities the Trust flourished and they were awarded by many official bodies. The Nur al-Islam School won the Mayor of London Award in 2006. The school featured as a case study by the Government Office for London on Sustainability. The school received a very positive Ofsted report. Government officials, including the Home Secretary, came to visit Nur al-Islam. Yusuf Hansa won the 2008 Global Peace and Unity Lifetime Achievement Award for his work with the community.
Sheikh Yusuf Hansa was born on the island of Mauritius in 1942. He immigrated to England in the 1960s and formed a close bond with other Muslim immigrants in London. He worked tirelessly as an early immigrant and settled into his main career as a civil servant from the 1970s. His work and involvement in various establishments helped him gain an insight into complex issues such as settlements and taxation. In the 1990s, he was the founder of Nurul Islam Trust and is the Trust's chairman. The Trust initially built a mosque and then expanded to include a community center, which facilitated the needs of the growing Muslim community. The Trust formed the Council of Mosques for Waltham Forest in 1992 with the intention of uniting all neighboring mosques in issues affecting the whole community. Brother Hansa led the setting up of the Nurul Islam Preschool and Full-Time Primary School, which both achieved very good Ofsted reports in 2008. The preschool received accreditation and the primary school won School of the Year in 2010. There's no doubt that the work at Nurul Islam has been a great success since its beginning in the 1990s, but now it's time for a change. As part of the ever-growing Muslim population, Nurul Islam now wishes to expand its existing building and to construct a state-of-the-art community center which can offer the community all that it needs. The idea of new building came about that our masjid is getting smaller now. People, we are getting more and more people now frequently coming to the masjid. And uh, if you see our Maghrib Salah, Maghrib Salah is completely full and we have to open the second building as well to, to, uh, to, to cater for those extra, uh, more people who are coming in actually. So then we decided no, because the space we have is, is getting limited. With high ambitions, there also comes costs. And to build a state-of-the-art community center for the entire Muslim community, work is never-ending and the efforts to raise funds are ongoing. Was the willingness of all our volunteers, the trusts and the volunteers and the community at large, it's because of that, the support they give us, that's what makes it uh, so be much bigger and better every year. So what does the future hold for Nur al-Islam Trust? As the needs of the Muslim community has grown and the demands on Nur al-Islam Nur al grows, um, we realise that we can't achieve that in the current buildings and we really need um, purpose-built facilities. So I guess over the last five years we really realise that there's a, a desperate need to offer something else in, the f in terms of the facilities that we have here. So about two and a half years ago is when we sat down with our architect and said, right, we need something and we need something soon. So it's, it's been a long time coming, but I think the, the need is, is desperate now. We, we know we have to do something about it. The Trust receives donations, school fees from parents and a preschool grants. But this is simply not enough. It's hoped that members of the public can buy into its success. We've actually shown that Muslims are normal people. In fact, if anything, we're, we're better than normal. We try to achieve uh, perfection in what we try and do. Uh, we want the best for the community. We try to benefit the community uh, at large. By looking at the relative successes over the last 20 years, one can only imagine what it can achieve in the future. We need a preschool, we need a primary school, in the future we need a secondary school and then if Allah wills we need a college as well. So these are the needs for basic necessity to provide good education to our children. I wish Allah could make it uh, happen. We would like to have a multi-purpose building where we are now, the three buildings together, uh, pull them down, have a multi-purpose building where we can have all our activities and the room for each of those activities have their own place, a gym, and we have usulhana for, uh, for funeral, we have madrasa, we have preschool, where we don't have to now at present, what happened, we have a preschool, but once the preschool is finished, over, we have caretaker removing all the benches, everything else, turn it into madrasa. After madrasa, we turn it into boxing, uh, gym and area. So, where we have a multi-purpose building, it will be, there will be a hall, there will be a garden on top. We hope to have uh, 
place for sisters to pray and a crest as well when they come for prayer. And we, especially we put more emphasis on education, well, Arabic classes. We have it now, but we'll make more emphasis on Arabic classes and Quran and Tajweed, inshallah. Money donated to the trust can lay the foundations for something great and the public are being encouraged to donate whatever it can to make the trust dream a reality. Over six million will be needed, but it is felt that the trust is strong enough to get more people to donate and become part of this excellent project. In doing so, the public will be investing in its own future, in this world and the hereafter. Nur Islam is in desperate need of, of financial help and volunteers. We desperately need funds in order to proceed with the new building, to carry on with the new building. Without funds, we won't be able to, to fulfill what we want to achieve. All the money which we collect for Nur Islam is for the benefit of the Muslims uh, to run more and more activities and to, to, to provide good service to the community. It's the Sunnah, if you uh, um, help to build the masjid, you get reward in this uh, dunya and in the Akhirah. I believe people should support Nur Islam because we really are um, trying our best to meet all the needs of, of, the, of the, the surrounding community. Any kind of support is not for just for the Muslim, it's the center for the, all, everybody. I always look at the example of those who donated to Nur Islam 20 years ago, be it 10 pounds, be it 100 pounds. Everything that Nur Islam has done since then Inshallah, Allah accepts it from them, they will continue getting those rewards. Uh, every penny we get, we make sure that it is spent for the purpose it is donated. People donating to Nur Islam now, Inshallah, I believe Allah accepts it from them, the rewards will be huge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you Sadaqah Jariah.